Hey guys, this is a video that is meant for beginners on how to do a smoky liner. I hope you enjoy the video. So I start out with filling in my brows and filling in on the sparse area and where I want to concentrate more of it and not make it like a block eyebrow like I always emphasize on having a natural eyebrow and following the natural hairline or natural brow shape that one has and I do the same thing on the other eyebrow and I follow the natural eyebrow hairs and I try to make brush like strokes in the front of the eyebrows and I just focus on making it as natural as possible and I brush up the eyebrow hairs with the help of an eyebrow mascara after which I am using this brown uh, coal pencil or kajal which I have used in most of my videos in the recent times which is quite good for a base of a smoky uh, eyeshadow or smoky liner because it also has a smudger and the, f the formula itself is quite blendable and I blend out any harsh line because I want this to be the base of a smoky liner I'm not using any eyeshadow in this tutorial because I wanted it to be as beginner friendly as it could be and yeah I just want a very seamless blend for the first layer of a smoky liner and yeah I think this can also be achieved with the help of uh, your fingers and just blending it out like that without a brush if you're in a pinch or if you're in a hurry and then I concentrate a lot more of that brown liner or coal at the corners of my eyes because uh, it will help me to give a direction of where I want the wing to go and I brush it outwards or smudge it outwards so that the smoky effect continues till the end of the liner and once I'm satisfied with that I use a coal or kajal that's black in color near my lash line and I fill in all the way inside my I mean all the way from the beginning of my eye till the end it also helps in making the lashes look thick and longer and also guides the liner that I would use later on and here I'm using a coal which has silver glitter particles which diffuses the line between the smoky liner and the kajal and glitter helps in hiding out the parts where there is unevenness or maybe a blend and provides a very seamless blend glitter is always an answer to make a smoky look even more sophisticated in my opinion and I make use of liner and I follow the kajal that I had used earlier on on the lash line of my eyelid and until the very end of the tail because I want the liner to be very crisp at the same time I want it to have a shadowy effect with the help of the coal and kajal used beforehand and I go back and forth looking in the mirror if it's alright or not and to create the sh shadow look uh, even on the lower lash line I use the brown liner and smudge it all out because it will look like a very cohesive smoky eye look if there's also a smoky effect on the lower lash line and I smudge it out towards the the liner and the cat eye because here I'm not trying to do something like downturned eyeliner here it's more crisp and cat liner sort of a thing with a smoky effect and with the help of a liquid liner that I had used before I line the inner corner of my liner to the coal and I haven't applied any of it in my waterline just near the lower lash line because it will help it to not prevent it will help to not smudge out later on and I curl my lashes here and I use a waterproof mascara as I always do and concentrating more of it at the base of the lashes and the ends of it to give a more false eyelashes effect or look 
and yeah it gives a more catty look and with the brown liner that i had used initially the lashes look more emphasized and here i'm using a bb cream i found myself to quite appreciate the formulation of bb creams because it's quite lightweight and it has ingredients which work for your skin so there is like skin care along with the makeup that you want to use so i just want a blank or clear canvas but not too clear i'm fine with few blemishes to be here and there but I, the major aim of using a bb cream is in the name in itself there is beauty blemish that stands for bb and i want uh, most of the blemishes and the redness to be covered but not too covered so that there is still that natural skin effect that it consists of and bb cream works well in hotter or humid climate and i apply the least amount of it on my forehead because it is naturally the area that will provide i mean produce a lot of oil especially if you have a oily skin type or acne prone skin type and yeah i i focus it also on my neck because i don't want only the face to have makeup and for it to match with the decolletage i applied a bit on my neck and with concealer i bring back light to my face and uh, i focus it on the high points of my face and where there is darkness such as around my mouth and the under eye and using a cream contour will help it all look very natural so i use a mixture of bo both my fingers and a brush to blend out the concealer and contour and as always the eyes would be the last place that i would try to work it all in because i want the concealer to sit the longest time on my face over there uh so that i have more coverage and yeah i focus it around my mouth and it's all in a patting motion and a circular motion a combination of the two helps the concealer to look more realistic and this is a brush that is a bit dense at the base so it does have the blendability of the fingers but a lot more control so that it doesn't ruin the skin care that i might have used underneath the makeup and honestly when you use a brush when you do makeup it feels like painting and it isn't about like caking on or piling up a lot of pigments on a canvas but it's rather to create something beautiful or create something that is serenic to look at and i drag out the concealer near my liner to give a more cleaner look this is a trick that is used by a lot of celebrity makeup artists to make sure that the eye look look very snatched or really put together when there is a white concealer or a concealer that is dragged out until the temples or the hairline and then i work towards the eye under eye area with the brush and yeah here the focus is just to take away the shadows created by an under eye and if one has a lot of discoloration around the under eye i would suggest using a color corrector for a big event especially even if one is of a fairer complexion i would suggest using a peach color a color corrector but this is fine for an everyday look if you are someone of a deeper complexion peach color corrector would work really well for under eye or maybe to hide some blemishes or post acne mark or around the mouth or nose using the same brush for contour helped look helped it look more natural and now i'm using a blush here i felt like using the blush before maybe because i didn't want a lot of blush as i had used contour beforehand and i just give a wash of color because 
blush is something that will bring a lot of color to your face and there's different shades of pink peach and coral or nude that you can put on your face so yeah and then i use a lip balm this is an sbf lip balm and i use a rosy pink lipstick it's quite a good one and very affordable and a nude one and I outline all of those two lipstick with a brown lip liner. I really like mixing lip products or lip liners or any different formulae together because I think it gives the best of each one of it together and create a color that you might not have otherwise. It's good to experiment with the lip color that one has and I believe everyone has more lip color than any other uh, I mean lip products than any other makeup products in their bag and hence it gives a lot more creativity or more choices to create one color that one likes and powdering will help set the makeup well quickly and I use a highlighter because I felt with the powder I lost a bit of sheen on the face but I didn't want the shine everywhere on the face so it's strategically put, put around the faces which has the high points to bring back light into the face and yeah I'm done with the makeup and here's the final look I hope you guys liked it here's a close-up of my eyeliner I hope this was easy to recreate